Hello, hello, Stella to Red Lion. Pete, are you there? If you ever come back to this show, I will fuck you up. Bye, Pete. Welcome to Zara's reality news featuring Sam, co-starring Sam Thompson, with our guest host, Sam Thompson. I don't know what you think you're doing. You're late. Spent a bit of the trust fund on some new uh, equipment for the show. iPads, earpiece. We normally have to pretend. <laughs> Cue titles. Why hasn't anything happened? Cue titles. Hello and welcome to the reality news with me, Sam. And me, Sara. Hello and welcome to Zara and Sam's Reality News. This is the place for the very latest in the world of celebrity and entertainment. This week we're going to be gossiping about Pete Davidson's BDE. And talking trapdoors. Cosmetic changes. And why Addison Rae is branching out. And I'll also be bringing you Prick of the Week and Hero of the Week. And this week we have some rather salty ones. But first, it's time for the latest reality news headlines. Carol Baskin sues Netflix over footage of her in Tiger King 2. They only signed appearance release forms for the first season of the docu-series. What's <laughs> happening? Carol, Carol Baskin! <laughs> After its release, Baskin said she was unhappy with how she'd been presented and described the series as a reality show dumpster fire. That's what my parents used to call this show. Tiger King 2 drops a week on Wednesday on Netflix. And we actually have the exclusive first press photo. Yes, those handlebars look brilliant. Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson of SNL are rumoured to be dating after they were pictured holding hands on a roller coaster. Doesn't everyone get their picture taken on those rides, though? It's normally one way. Pete has been linked to some of the most beautiful women in the world, hasn't he, Sam? Yeah, and I'm going to do a timeline for you. In 2015, Carly Aquilino and Pete dated. She's an actress. Cassie David in 2016. She's a writer and an actress. Also Larry David's daughter. And in 2018, Ariana Grande. My favourite person in the whole world. Apparently, Ariana actually referenced the fact that he has quite a... Uh... He's got a big cock. She once tweeted that it was 10 inches. Lie, no one has a 10 inch penis. Obviously, Pete's funny and well endowed, and you're just funny. Thank you. Next. Kate Beckinsale and uh, Pete dated in January 2019. Wow. Margaret Qualley in August 2019. She's an actress and she is Andy McDowell's daughter. In 2019, he dated Kaya Gerber. Cindy Crawford's daughter. And in 2021, he dated Phoebe Denever. She's from Bridgerton. Another lady that I know nothing about. She's Sally Dinova's daughter from Cory. Sorry, that is like Kim K dating Barry from EastEnders' son. You do a good Kim Kardashian impression. No, I do a Courtney Kardashian impression. Travis is just the love of my life. He makes me so happy. I, l I love Travis. Travis always wears a beanie. Why has Courtney Kardashian all of a sudden gone Western? <laughs> It's all from like the back of your throat. Kim Travis. has the funniest crying face. Kim has the, what the funniest hell is that? crying face. Sam, what even is your party trick? I've seen you do the Beyonce. Put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. Yeah, what? Yeah. She goes like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes. There's something I've always wanted you to do for me. Hey Jeffrey, can we uh, can we bring it down, please? Jeffrey doesn't exist. He doesn't we make it up. Oh my lord. Yeah, wow. Okay, we're in. <laughs> Don't fucking lie, it's been ages. This is the most private school you've ever looked. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I can't get the high note. I can't fucking do it. I can't do it. You just farted. <laughs> Used to be a child prodigy, now just a failed star. Maybe would you could play it for Pete when he gets back. I would actually love that. Dating show The Love Trap goes viral for trapdoor elimination. A clip from Channel 4's new dating show The Love Trap has gone viral after it showed a contestant being eliminated from the competition through a trapdoor. Let's take a look at the clip. David. Who do you think is a love trap?
treachery. <gasps> oh, she's gone. It's like first dates meet Squid Game. Squid dates. I'm gonna copyright that, I'm gonna tell you for. Faye Winter gets lip fillers dissolved. This is big news, as during a stint on Love Island, she became known for not just her explosive arguments, but for her love of cosmetic surgery. I mean, her brown lipstick definitely caused quite the stir. However, despite expressing that she would not be filling her lips again, Faye did say they look like an 80-year-old man's ball sack right now. Uh, they're like little raisins on my face, but it is what it is. How does she know what an 80-year-old man's ball sack looks like? That's a big question. It is what it is. It's also been reported that Faye has turned down a series of big money fashion deals, and thank God for that, by the way. Hang on, bit rich coming from Mr. Walking Advert over here. Addison Ray is to star in Snapchat show about returning to her Louisiana roots. The 21-year-old has 16 million followers on Snapchat, 85 million on TikTok. 85 million! We can all dream. Addison Ray Goes Home is what the uh, Snapchat series is called. It's part of Snap's new original slate, which includes shows starring NBA superstar Steph Curry and a pro boxer, Ryan Garcia, who I love. I wonder when they will contact us, Zara. The show is going to document the influencer actor returning to her roots in Louisiana, her first time back since moving to LA to pursue her entertainment career. If we were going to do a documentary about our family roots, what do you think they'd be like? Oh, yours, there'd be some royalty or some kind of money from somewhere. So here's mine. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a few branches of said tree. And uh, we go all the way back to William de Courcy Conqueror, which uh, he's Norman. And we are from Normandy, if you didn't know that, Goose. Goose is what I call it, by the way. And I think we got a castle in Ireland at one point. It got turfed out, but I'm not sure if that's true. So onto Zara's family tree. It's just one big circle. Yeah, see, Zara's grandparents were first cousins. That's so not actually that weird. She is it not? She keeps it in the family. Saves on wedding invites. Love wins, and that is what we love on this show. They've so been together for like 60 years and now. And I am happy with them. Over 60 years. But is that the grandparents I know? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Wait, wait, the ones that I really like? Yeah, the ones that you love. The one in the Zimmer frame, we go to the shop? Yeah. Oh my God, they're jokes. I can't wait to ask him. Is that weird if I ask them? Christmas? will be interesting. Time for a new segment. Because there are so many celebrity stories that are non-stories, I want to bring a new segment to the show. It's time for non-stories of the week. I think we should have a jingle for that, to be honest. Non-stories of the week. Non-stories of the week. Jamie Redknapp links arms with his new wife, Frida. Jeremy Clarkson has two wardrobes. Kendall Jenner blows out her candles at her intimate birthday bash. Bob Geldof has been granted permission to build a pond. We should get a pond. You already asked for a moat around the property. Couldn't get one due to planning. Fuck you, Fulham Council. Justin Bieber and model wife Haley coordinate in baggy denim as they run errands separately in LA. Ed Sheeran, proud to change nappies. I will not be changing nappies, by the way. The smell of poo and particles of that nature in my orifices really hurts. And don't I know it. Right, time for prick of the week. No, 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 we're not doing that yet. I think we should let them know what happened at the very start before we started filming the show. Sam regularly pranks me and Pete. So I thought it's time to get him back. Run the tape, Jeffrey. Hi, Carla. Carla! And I pranked him with some fart spray and waited to see his reaction. Oh, I'm so excited. So nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You too. I'll ask you guys uh, about your doing your the reality news together. How oh, yeah. It? It's very, very fun. I'm going to be honest with you. I was a bit nervous. I know you do a lot of like videos together anyways, but uh, this is like a longer form scripted thing. How does huh. that feel? That's actually a good question. The best thing about the show for me is it's just fun. Like, so, like, regardless of who you do it with or anything, the team we've got is great. Um, I... What was I saying? Yeah, that's pretty great. Oh, uh, when is Pete supposed to come back? Is he gonna come back? Where is he? Uh, Pete is coming back next week. Yeah, but the breastfeeding was, uh, was definitely something. Alright, I'm going to Pete. Is everything okay? Fine. No! Say that again. <laughs> 
He stabbed my mouth. Sorry? What is it? Sorry. Sorry, sorry, ask your question again. I feel like Zara brings a nice feminine vibe to the show. Yeah. And uh <sighs> sorry. I mean, it is scripted, no? There's a, there's a limit. Well, it's like half and half. It's scripted and also, you know, so like we talk about the, um... Do you need to take a breather or something? No, it's, 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 <laughs> what are you doing? I'm sorry, I've got this weird taste in my mouth. Did you eat anything weird before? No. We just had a bacon sandwich and a coffee. Zara just stinks. I'm sorry, you do. I don't know, it's like, you, you are like coffee breath. I just... Right, we'll go on to a couple questions. Oh. Um, how long is it that you guys have been together? Ah, uh, two and a half years. Is, are the years. questions making you uncomfortable? Or is, is it... It's uh, not. The no. Okay. Carry on, shoot. But what was so funny was, on the comments on the Pete and Saz reality... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. What the fuck? Is everything all right? I think he's, he's fine. Are you fucking joking? Is that a fucking prank? It's fucking fart spray. <coughs> this is for pranking me every day. That was a fake setup interview. It wasn't real. <coughs> oh my god. Oh. Hey, this one's for you, babe. If you've ever smelled fart spray, it, it doesn't leave the clothes. I got you so good. Whatever you want to do to me in the future, I don't care, because I won. I will always have won this. That is a dangerous little challenge that you've offered me there, and it has been accepted. So, from getting sick to biggest prick, it's time for Prick of the Week. Last week's nominations were Rishi Sunak and Tyson Fury. And the winner is Rishi Sunak with over 90% of the vote. And the nominations for Prick of the Week this week are ITV for replacing Piers Morgan with Richard Maidley on Good Morning Britain. I actually do like Richard Maidley though. Have you ever seen anything called Accidental Partridge? Isn't that just a Twitter account? It is indeed, but it's hilarious. You're a bit like Alan Partridge. Aha! Back of the net. Our next nomination for Frick of the Week is Pete Davidson for being a bigger Lothario than our very own Pete Wicks and breaking the hearts of some of the most beautiful women in the world. I still don't know how he does it. So there you have it, this week's nominations for Prick of the Week are ITV and Pete Davidson. Vote now on the Pete and Sam's Realist News Instagram and the winner will be announced on the show next week. Seeing as it went down so well last week, I am bringing back Hero of the Week to offset the constant chatter of small dicks. Like Pete is constantly quite negative with Prick of the Week. I feel like Hero of the Week is uh, a bit more, you know, upmarket. <laughs> My Hero of the Week this week is Beth Quide, a Greg super fan, who this week decided to pay homage to her favourite bakery chain in a permanent way. Is Greg's like Gales? Have you never been to Greg's? That really upsets me. Beth, who works at Boulder's Brass Tattoo Company in Liverpool, had the idea for the tattoo after her colleagues took the piss out of her for her daily visits to the chain. Beth's boss, Rachel, did the tattoo for her and was what she described as her one true love. The design later went viral. Let's take a look. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? See, I can understand uh, getting a tattoo of your one true love, Pete. One love, brother. I actually have a tattoo of Sam's initials and he has nothing of me. Just trust no one. On my knee. That's sadly all we got time for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching Pete and Sam's Reality News. Zara and Sam's Reality News. I've been Sam. I've been Zara. Take care of each other. And don't forget to touch yourselves. Can you stop doing that? I'm just so good. Do you know what? I've really enjoyed these last two weeks. It's just so nice to spend time with you. And also, I feel like when we're on the show, you agree to doing things that you wouldn't normally do, i.e. getting married next year. So I thought I'd save you the trouble and bring in our very own priest to marry us right here, right now. What? Oh my fucking God, she actually got a priest. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, sir, how are you? You're not a real priest, are you? Yeah. You're a fucking priest. So guys, if you could uh, hold your hands, please. Zara, if you could do your vows. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> oh my God. I promise to love you for all the pranks you do. And I want to thank you for all the times you've made me laugh. I can't wait to be with you for the rest of my life. It's, what do I do? I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is say I do. I do.
Yes. We're married. We're not actually married, though, are we? 